You've used my logic against me. Well played, Timmy. Well played. Thank you, sir. Look at that. You've helped me find my smile. The meeting is beginning. The stakes are very high for me. I'm getting nervous. My stomach is in flux. Oh, you mean the party that you begrudgingly invited us to at the last minute because you don't want us there? I couldn't be happier you're coming. And it shows. Black for me, milk for you. You remembered how I like it. Yes, with milk. Just one ingredient. And you remembered it. Mm. You all right, Captain? Tough weekend? I went to Barbados with my husband. We wove hats out of palm fronds and swam with the stingrays. I've never been happier. You look chipper, Captain. You have a fun weekend? There was a small fire in my home. I lost many photo albums of treasured memories. I'm devastated. Both of you have done exemplary work, which I appreciate. And I can see that by the absolutely no indicators on your face. He's the reason I'm staying. I don't know what you're talking about. You're an adult, and you came to your own decision. Look at me. I can't keep a straight face. I played you like a fiddle. Permission to take a selfie of the two of us, sir? Permission denied. Too late. Captain Holt. Happy Thanksgiving. Your apartment was very easy to locate. I am good at emotion. Hey. You're dripping on my carpet. It's like Scratch City. How about you? I'm fine, except I was impaled on a metal pipe. Oh, my god! Wait. Before you say anything, I want to guess what happened based on your face. Someone died. No. You won a prize. I'm not getting better at this. All this sneaking around is exhilarating. I can feel the adrenaline coursing through my body. Coursing. I've been craving Sudanese all day. I'll print out some menus. Ouch. You ran over my foot. I am in incredible pain. All my breakups have been completely mutual. This is the best possible option for both of us. Agreed. Stay care. That was the end of an eight-year relationship. Many years ago, I myself overcame an addiction. I could not get enough of the ponies. Go, Razzmatazz. Go, Razzmatazz. Go, Razzmatazz. Bugle Boy winning by a head. I lost everything. I don't deserve to be an I9C3G6. I should be an I9C3G4 or an I8C5G3 or even an I7C7G8 or I2C1G3. Is this a Rain Man impression? No. Let's break into the FBI. Oh, come on, Captain. This is such a big moment. Say it with more gusto. Indeed, like this. Let's break into the FBI. Oh, I see. Let's break into the FBI. No. Let's break into the FBI. 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 I feel like I'm doing it. Let's break into the FBI. Let's break into the FBI. Okay, uh, I'll do the surgery, and uh, you just breathe, okay? We'll get you through this. Okay. Oh, what was that sound? I did not like that squish sound. The pipe has been removed. Now, I'm sewing myself up. Okay, this is almost over. You're doing great. Just keep talking. Keep talking. Talking about what? Uh, tell me about Amy. Hmm? You must be excited to see her. Very much. You know, oh, God, what if it doesn't go well? We haven't seen each other in a while, and what if it's weird? Oh, keep God. going, keep going. You're doing so well. I don't care for cheese. I'm a curd mudgeon. This line is interminable. At this rate, we'll be home in 54 minutes instead of the usual 46. Motorcycles are death machines. I have three kids. I'm not risking it. Are you saying my life matters less because I don't conform to society's heteronormative, child-centric ideals? Are you really playing the gay card right now? Yeah, Queen. I don't know why you're telling me. I'm not involved. You made that very clear. What is wrong with our internet? I like to back up my data every 15 minutes, and it's taking 17 minutes per backup. I'm in a data backup deficit. Are you familiar with the story of Moneyball? A man uses statistics and logic to win several baseball games. It's my favorite film. The statistical analysis. <laughs> it's so beautiful. When I die, please give Kevin my regards. What shall I tell him? Regards. Guess who? NYPD, hands up! Ah! Coat, coat, jacket, coat. Is this a police precinct or a Turkish bazaar? If she asks me, then yes. I suppose I will have to blow your spot right up. That's a code. A code? 
Exciting. I'll go get my pencil case. I bet it's a room number. Third floor, fifth room, room 305. That's definitely it. Oh, great. Great, great. Santiago has solved it. I can't let those innocent pups into that madhouse. Terry won't do you like that. I understand. Just know, you have disappointed all three of us. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Is that a promise? Or just another lollipop that no one's ever going to lick? Probability doesn't kick in. Do I have to teach you college-level statistics? I don't know. Do I have to teach you high school statistics? Do I have to teach you eighth grade statistics? Do I have to teach you seventh grade statistics? Do I have to teach you... <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, detectives, I need to leave him a snide voicemail about kindergarten statistics. You're not Al. You're looking for Al. Of course we're looking for Al, you imbecile! What's your story behind a PB&J? I want a sandwich. I make a sandwich. I eat the sandwich. Boost my bottom! I'm boosting! Boost my bottom! I'm boosting! Boosting! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever speak to me like that again. This one says, what's up, beaches? Instead of bitches for humor reasons. But you hate humor. Well, I'm a joke now, so it suits me. Don't worry, I'm not listening to you. I'm just thinking about how this sea bass is cold, but not as cold and cruel as the hands of fate that have thrust my entire life into darkness. I love the way the mud revitalizes your skin. And I love how it masks my shame. Why is no one having a good time? I specifically requested it. Gina, why aren't you dancing? I can't. I'm in the middle of a feud with the that's not a knife guy from Crocodile Dundee. He's being a real bitch. Fine. I guess I'll just stop the party. I didn't realize it ever started. Enough. I tried to make this fun. I even learned what Skrillex was. Sorry you're all miserable, but guess what? So am I. I'm exhausted all the time. I never see my husband. The late night NPR programming. Pure garbage. I'm done trying. We can all be miserable together. I'm already dressed. Well, I'm also dressed. And I made breakfast. Wait, where are my eggs? In my belly. Yeah! Now get a move on. It's heist time. This is a room of nightmares. You're the nightmare. You made me kill my balloon baby. Look at me. So drunk, I'm alliterating like a beatnik. A balloon arch. Oh my god, Captain. She is magnificent. Vindication! All right, we gotta get there quick. Maybe we should take the chopper. Here's that chopper. Deathblade, Sidewinder, it's go time. Roger that, wet blanket. No, from now on, call me Velvet Thunder. OK. What did you do? What did you say? Nothing. We just said, welcome back. <laughs> and laughed with him about all the weight he gained in France. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone just standing around? Get back to work. So long, Tank. Tank? I gained three pounds in Paris. Three pounds! Ding dong, the wunch is dead! Bagels for everyone! So I guess you believe it now. Yep. Yeah. Want to see the selfies I took? Actually, yes. I'll share the album with you. Bagel! Bagel! Pain. That's it. And now for a message of hope. Ah, a message of hope. Right on time. Everything is garbage. Oh, I know. Is everything okay? Nothing's okay. Wunch circling me like a shark frenzied by chum. The task force turning into a career-threatening quagmire, an internal affairs investigation casting doubt upon my integrity. And you ask, is everything okay? I am buffeted by the winds of my foe's enmity and cast about by the towering waves of cruel fate. Yet I, a captain, am no longer able to command my vessel, my precinct from my customary helm, my office. And you ask, is everything OK? I've worked the better part of my years on Earth, overcoming every prejudice and fighting for the position I hold. And now I feel it being ripped from my grasp. And with it? the very essence of what defines me as a man. And you ask, is everything okay? 
Yeah, I hear you. My dog has taken over my favorite chair. It's like, how did it all slip away? Of course, you could break the window. But you would never knowingly destroy government property, would you? Whoops. Well, misread that one. Cheetah, skate! Skate like the wind! Ah! It's funny when people call dentists doctor. We are doctors. We do four years of medical school. Yeah, it's called dental school. But we learn about the entire body. Yeah, but if you had cancer, you can call it dentist. You know, it's actually harder to get into dental school than medical school. Why? Because there are fewer dental schools. Because most people want to become actual doctors. That's ridiculous. It's not like we're college professors calling ourselves doctors. It's not the same thing, my friend. Well, sure it is. When someone has a heart attack on a plane, do they yell out, yo, does anybody here have an art history PhD? A PhD is a doctorate. It's literally describing a doctor. Maybe let's refocus. No, the problem here is that medical practitioners have co-opted the word doctor. Okay, Captain. Now, I know we live in a world where anything can mean anything, and nobody even cares about etymology. He's got to be connected to one of those cases somehow. Interesting. You know what else is interesting? Mm. Grenade. NYPD! NYPD! Split up! Cover the exits! Freeze! Captain! Captain! He's not getting away! He took my dog! Oh my god! It's happening! <laughs> You have a knife. But what you need is an umbrella. Tell him why. Tell him why. Because there's a storm going to rain down on you, punk. Oh, my goodness. Fluffy boy! Ugh.